In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Eucharist. Today we offer this holy mass for the eternal rest of Bob and Stella Grab. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, abode all pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair, or rather are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns out, but if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory, Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Jesus Christ, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed him the name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Yet even when you saw that, you did not let later change your minds and believe him. Jesus is teaching about the truth, and this chief priest and elders of the people of Israel, they don't believe in him because they think they have more better ways than the Jesus is teaching to them. And we have the same problem in our present time. We have the problem of the pride. In order to think that we have better ways than the way of Jesus Christ. And when we don't believe in him and we try to change his message, it's so difficult to achieve our last goal. Today the Lord invites invite us to the humility, to be a humble heart in order to accept his teachings. It's the only way. And remember that humility is the way to heaven. This is the way that Jesus chose for himself. He born in a manger. And he died on the cross. From the beginning until the end. He showed us the way of humility. And even after his death and resurrection, he showed us the way of humility. This is the way of the Eucharist. He's vulnerable in the Eucharist. When you love, you are vulnerable. This is the way of love, the way of humility. Jesus continued to teach us that just with this way, we can achieve heaven. We can achieve eternal life but we need to fight against our pride because our pride appear quickly even in small matters immediately our reaction is anger immediately our reaction is violence because pride appear Jesus today invite us one more time to put into practice the virtues of humility and believe in him. Even if Jesus appeared today to many people, they don't believe because this pride, this hardness heart. Yesterday, 
I was in the Eucharist Congress on Dallas Town. And one of the things that the bishop to preach the homily said is the terrible situation about the faith in the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. Just 30% of the Catholic people believe that Jesus is there in the Eucharist. What happened with the other 70, 76% that they say that they have faith, but what kind of faith? Your personal faith? The faith according to your desires, your will? We need to believe in Jesus. Believe in him. We have many confusions even inside the church. We need to be obedient and humble before Jesus Christ. That is the way. Doesn't exist other one. Because he is our God. He is the truth. He is the way. He is our salvation. Just Jesus Christ and just him. This week, try to be obedient to Jesus in your daily matters, in your daily lives. And when appear the temptation to resolve everything with anger, with violence, remember that Jesus showed the way of humility, the way of love. Let us ask to the Lord, Lord, help me to be humble, to imitate you in your humility, in your love. Let us pray in silence. Dear brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, Come substantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. At the seat at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are God's children through baptism. Therefore, we ask confidently for our needs and those of others. We pray for the church, for humble hearts committed to the Father's will. Let us pray to the Lord. For our president and members of Congress, for leadership and laws that defend the common good, let us pray to the Lord. For all who work the land for an abundant harvest, let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and those near death, for deliverance from pain and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all who gather at this table for healing and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the eternal rest of Bob and Stella Grubb. Let us pray to the Lord. This coming Wednesday is the Feast of St. Francis, but also that day start the Synod of Synodality. We pray for all of those who meet there that they don't introduce different teachings than the teachings of Jesus, that we remain faithful to the teachings of the church, to the teachings of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for this parish community that we remain faithful to the Lord and be obey him and his word. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for our families and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful God, Daily you draw us into your mystery. Grant what your spirit prompts us to ask. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. As our gifts are prepared at the altar, please join in singing number 352, A Place at Your Table.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find accept acceptance with you, and that through it the world springs of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its herring, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the, with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to all departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distresses as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy. You should enter on the road. My only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Is the sacred moment of the communion. Remember, Jesus is truly present, fully present in this sacrament of the Eucharist. Come and receive him with faith and in a state of grace without moral sins. And also remember that the communion is not the last part of the Mass. The Mass finishes with the final blessing. Now with faith, come and receive your Savior, Jesus Christ. As we come to the Lord's table, please join in singing number 730 at the name of Jesus. Number 730.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we cry for the banished children of Eve. To you we send up our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, amen.